hello and welcome back uh, this is the second problem from the chapter matrix representation of a linear mapping here we have the question number two and this is the last topic in your uh, syllabus which, uh, in your syllabus specially from the module two sections about vector space one so this is the last topic we are talking about after that we can revise all the topic we have covered till now so here is the question number two it says that the matrix of a linear term mapping which take the vector of r3 to the vector of r2 relative to the ordered basis 0 1 1 so in this basis this is the first vector of the basis this is the second vector of the basis and this is the third vector of the basis and here the we have the first vector of this basis and second vector of this basis of r2 and what we have if i just map this vector uh, this basis vector to this basis vector then we have the matrix representation of the transformation is given what we have to find we have to find the transformation t so matrix of the transformation is respect to it relative to the order basis of r3 and r2 is given and what we have to do first first we have to find the mapping t so uh, let me doing that so what we have basically the matrix of t matrix of t so of t <coughs> sorry matrix of t relative to the given basis so given ordered basis of r3 and r2 is given that we have a 2 by 3 matrix so 1 2 4 and 2 1 0 so this is given so what we have then because we have the ordered basis 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 so it means that if I write T of 0 1 1 as a linear combination of the vector 1 0 and 1 1 then the first column of the matrix from here 1 will be the coefficients over here and 2 will be the coefficients for this vector so next similar way t of the value of t of because we have the second vector in the basis t 1 0 1 so second vector is 1 0 1 so t of 1 0 1 will be if I write as a combination of these two vectors 1 0 and 1 1 we have the coefficient for, e for 1 0 will be 2 and coefficient for 1 1 will be 1 so we have 2 of 1 0 plus 1 of 1 1 and similar way t of 1 1 0 will be from the matrix we have the last column the third column 4 and 0 so we have 4 of 1 0 plus 0 of 1 1 so we get the value so what we get after that so we get here we get 1 here we get 2 so we get 3 and 0 plus 2 so we get 3 comma 2 from here we get 2 and plus 1 we get 3 so let me erase the uh, that and let me write so we get 3 comma 1 and from the last we get 4 comma 0 so we get uh, the value of the vector 0 1 1 at the point uh, 0 1 1 the mapping gives uh, the value 3 2 at the point t of 1 0 1 we get the value 3 1 and at the point t of 1 1 0 we get the value 4 0 now what we have to find we have to find the value of the 
t at any point x y z so we have to find x y z equals t of x y z is what so for that what we going to do we going to express x y z as a combination of the basis vector 0 1 1 1 0 1 and 1 1 0 so i just uh, let me uh, write that part that we do not forget so we get t of 0 1 1 is equals to 3 comma 2 T of one zero one is three comma one, and T of one one zero is equals to four comma zero. I just want to say something to you. So some of you basically are students as. Uh, told me that they have problem when i am um, teaching with uh, the white board instead of that he recommend me to teach in uh, by using the notes only and the we have to find use the pointer uh, as the some teachers has already doing with that the using the pointer and going through the note one by one and teach them that way so i just want you i just want from you what do you want so i want to i basically re really want to teach by in this methods that's uh, i think it's a good way to doing this it's almost parallel to the teaching as a whiteboard in the classroom but i want you i want answer from you what do you want do you want from the videos from the whiteboards or videos from the using only pointer and using the notes i have provided already provided to you so that's all i left to you that's all your judgment so i just want you to comment that below so what do you want the uh, teaching with the whiteboard or teaching using pointer to the notes so okay let's go to the problem so what we have to find we have to find t of x y z so now what we going to do for that we first light we have already done this type of problem so x y z try to express as a linear combination of the vector so we going to express x y z as the combination of the vector 0 1 1 c 2 One zero one and C three one one zero. So if I write that down, what we get? We get C two plus C three in the first component. Second component we get C one plus C three and third component we get C one plus C. Uh, sorry, in the third component we get C one plus C two. So x y j is equals to now c two plus c three. So in this way, because this vector and this vector are equal, so what we can write, we can write that c two plus c three is equals to x. C one plus c three equals to y. So this equation one, this equation two, and c one. Plus C two gives us Z because here we have C one plus C two and here we have Z. So C one plus C two is equals to Z. I just recommend you to pause the video for few seconds and solve by yourself. Okay. So after the calculations, you will find that the value of C one will be half of Y plus Z minus X and value of C two will be. Half of x plus z minus y and value of c3 will be half of half of um, it will be x plus y minus z. Okay, so let me erase that portion. So what we get basically, so let me erase that and write it as. so after the erasing all the parts so we get so what we get we get the value of x y z when we try to write x y z as a combination of this three vectors so we get half of y 
प्लस जेट माइनस एक्स ऑफ वन ऑफ सॉरी नॉट दिस वेक्टर्स बाय दिस वेक्टर सो वी गेट जीरो वन वन प्लस हाफ ऑफ एक्स वाई जेट इन टू द वेक्टर वन सो वन जीरो वन एंड हाफ ऑफ द वेक्टर x plus y minus z we get 1 1 0 now here we have the constant parts are who are the constant here this part is constant this part is constant and this part is constant and this part is a vector this part is a vector so this part so if i take the transformation so t of x y z gives us half of y plus z minus x of so i just using the red color for the vector t of 0 1 1 and we have plus i am just using the uh, blue color for all other parts so we get half of x plus z minus y of t of T of one zero one, and let me erase this part. So what we get plus C three part. So plus C three plus C three, which is half of x plus y minus z, and we have the vector. T of one one zero because this is a linear transformation we can write in this way. So after that, what we get basically? So now we have this part half of y plus z minus x. Now T of zero one one we already get that T of zero one one is three comma two. So T of zero one one is three comma two plus half of X plus Y minus Z. We <coughs> sorry again. So we get the value of T of one zero one is three comma one. So with that right, let me write that. So three comma one plus half of X plus Y minus Z and T of one one zero is four comma zero. So I I uh, again recommend you to watch the video for few seconds and do the calculations by yourself. And after the calculations, so you will find the value two x plus two y, two x plus two y plus z, comma half of minus x plus y plus three z plus y plus Z. After the calculations, you will find that value. So here, just we have the first coefficient. So in this way, you I know you, uh, I know that you can calculate all the parts, and you will get this result. The value of t of x y z is the is. So this is our t. So we have uh, given the answer to find the value of t. So we get the uh, value of t. Now the second part of the problem. So we have to find the matrix of T now relative to the ordered basis this and this. So first, let me uh, firstly write the down the transformation. So I just to erase this part and let me down down the transformations. So what we have the transformation T. So transformation T is equals to. So t of x y z is give us the value two x plus two y plus z comma half of x plus y plus three z and this is our value. So we have get the vector of our three and after the transformation we get a vector of our two. Now what we have to do? Just let me first erase this part. We have to find the again a matrix of T, but here for the transformation. So in this problem, 
so first in relative to that this uh, basis and this basis matrix was given now relative to this basis and this basis we have to find the matrix of t so now what is the first vector first vector is 1 0 1 0 so what is the value of t of 0 1 0 here x x 0 y is 1 z is 0 so we get 2 into 0 plus 2 into 1 plus 0 comma half of minus 0 plus 1 plus 3 into 0 so we get the vector 2 comma we get half 2 comma half next find the transformation t of 1 0 0 so again because 2 1 0 0 is our second vector so we have to find t of 1 0 0 so again x is 1 y is uh, 0 z is 0 so we get 2 into 1 plus 2 into 0 plus 0 half of minus 1 plus 0 plus 3 into 0 so we get the vector 2 comma minus half so 2 comma minus half next we have to find t of 0 0 1 so what we get t of 0 0 1 x is 0 y is 0 z is 1 so we get 2 into 0 plus 2 into 0 plus 1 comma half of minus 0 plus 0 plus 3 into 1 so we get the 1 comma 3 by 2 so next what we have to do we have to express this vector 2 comma half as a combination of the ordered basis 1 0 and 0 1 so let me write them down so if I express as then we get 1 0 plus half of 0 comma 1 and here we get 2 of 1 0 plus minus half of 0 comma 1 and here we get 1 of 1 0 plus 3 by 2 0 comma 1 why are you using this vector 1 0 and 0 1 because we have to find the matrix relative to this basis and 1 0 and 0 1 of the basis are 2 so then the matrix of t then the then the matrix of t is with the first column will be the coefficients here is 2 and a half so first column will be 2 comma half second column will be 2 minus half so we get 2 minus half and third column came from 1 and 3 by 2 and 1 comma 3 by 2 so you can now if you compare this matrix with this matrix you can clearly see that with respect to basically relative to different order basis we get different matrix for the same linear transformation so the order and also the basis of the transformations is very important so for the same transformation t we get two different matrix relative to two different uh, basis vectors order basis vectors so that's how we have to sign the matrix of the linear transformations so for so now i just end the whole of your syllabus module to over here Next, from the next uh, words of this uh, of this section we are going to solve a few more problems from the sections and we will going to uh, basically I, I just want you to just uh, come again come and just told you what is your doubt and I will just want to clear all of your doubts we are going to solve problems and all that way we, we have cliff over the module 2 so thank you again for watching